If you were to donate 75% of your healthy liver, that remaining 25% will regenerate into a full-size liver and it'd only take one and a half to two months. But you can't donate your liver again and again. And the reason is regeneration is not an infinite process. The thing is, after you donate, the cells in the remaining piece will grow bigger. They can't function fully at first, but in a few days, they start to mature and work as well as the cells that got removed. The cells also start to divide and replicate until your liver reaches its full size. But the shape of the regenerated liver won't look identical to your original liver. And the reason is, those new cells form in a pattern that's slightly different from your original lobular architecture. But also, regenerated tissues include small amounts of scar tissue, which further alters your liver's structure. If you were hypothetically to donate your liver again, you would be at risk as a donor in healing, but also it could put the recipient at risk when it comes to liver grafting. After a doctor removes a kidney, the remaining kidney grows in mass, 20 to 30%, and that's all within the first year of the surgery. And the reason is it allows for more blood into the kidney, so then it can filter out more blood. And that's how the remaining kidney can do its job, but also compensate for the one that got removed. If you get a lung transplant, typically it can last five to seven years, whereas a transplanted heart or pancreas, those can function 10 to 15 years, and a liver or kidney transplant can function 10 to 20 years. But that's assuming if you and the living donor are both young and healthy, and of course with some organs, there are some compatibility considerations too. But if the donated organ comes from a cadaver, which is usually the case, the organ will usually have a shorter lifespan. The most transplanted organ worldwide is the kidney. In the US alone, 80% of patients on the transplant wait list are waiting for a kidney. But the thing is, there's a shortage of donations. The reason is most donated kidneys, about 70%, come from cadavers or deceased donors, and the remainder comes from living donors. The other organs that are in high demand include the liver, heart, and pancreas. Most people think that illegal human organ trades are done in backward operations like on ghetto streets. What people don't know is that most illegal transplants are actually done in medical hospitals or clinics with the involvement of corrupt doctors. For all kidney, liver, and heart transplants that are done every year, 10% is actually sourced through trafficking. Let's say your finger gets severed by accident. Generally speaking, you have about 12 hours to get it reattached, and timing is critical. If it's relatively a clean cut, and that finger isn't too damaged or shattered, and if you have ice nearby, you might be able to extend that time window to 24 hours. First, you want to gently rinse the finger with clean water to remove dirt and debris, but don't use soap. Certainly don't scrub it. Do you want to wrap the finger in a clean, damp cloth? And then place it inside a Ziploc bag or something that's airtight. And then put that bag on ice. You don't want to put the finger directly on ice because that's going to cause tissue death. A surgeon will reconnect the tiny blood vessels and nerves. And if the doctor's super meticulous and precise, your finger can be restored to pretty much its normal function. If your tooth gets knocked out, you have about 30 minutes to get to the dentist to get it reattached. If you're fortunate, you might have up to an hour, but no more. Every minute counts. So first you want to pick up the tooth, but grab it by the crown. You don't want to touch the root because that can damage the cells that are needed for reattachment. So then you want to rinse the tooth gently in milk or a saline solution, but don't rinse it in tap water. Next, you want to gently insert the tooth back into your socket if you can, but if you can't reinsert it, keep the tooth in a container of milk. Either way, you're going to want to rush and see your dentist. Subscribe!